Let's look at aroma ratio and six. Aroma ratio is, is a common indicator for assessing a nation's coverage of enrollment at a level of education or age group at a time. We use aroma ratio to know the total number of the population that are enrolled in school and the age group that are in school. How do we get this done? There are different types of aroma ratio. We have what we call the overall aroma ratio. The overall aroma ratio gives you the total percentage of the population that are in school, that are enrolled in school, irrespective of the level of education. Also, we have the level enrollment ratio. This one that has to classify according to the different levels of education. In Nigeria, we have three levels of education. We have the primary, secondary, and the tertiary level. And I want to know how many of the population, the percentage of the population is enrolled in the primary level, what is the percentage of the population is enrolled in secondary school level and the tertiary level, which is the higher institution. Also, we have the age-specific enrollment ratio. The age-specific enrollment ratio deals with a particular age group that are enrolled in school. For example, we may want to find out the age group between maybe 12 to 17 that are enrolled in school, irrespective of the classes, because there are some of these age group that will be in a level that they ought not to be. But they are in school, but they are not in the right level. Let's say, for example, here in Nigeria, primary school age starts at six. So by age 11, you are rounding up your primary school and you expect to be in secondary school at age 12. But there are some persons that are 15, 14, they are still in primary school. You still find them in primary school when they are supposed to be out of primary school age. So when you are calculating age specific, you are not looking at the level, you are not looking at um, the, the specific level this, this time around. You are looking at the age that is involved. So you have to calculate the age that are in school, irrespective of the level that they are in. Now, how do we work this out? There is a formula for it, and the formula that is usually used in determining the, uh, the, uh, the ratio is enrollment over population. You need to get the enrollment over population at 100 to get the percentage of what we don't that are in school. Now, let us quickly look at this example. Here is an example for us. You have said in a country, the school enrollment by level in 2017 is this. We have it here. Here we have the level. We have those that are enrolled. And we have the actual age enrollment. There is difference between enrollment and the actual age enrollment. Those that are enrolled, these are all the numbers that are enrolled. Let's take, for example, those in primary school. We have 260 of them, 260,000 of them that are enrolled in primary school. But out of the 260,000, the actual age that falls within that enrollment is 200,000. That is what we are saying here. Again, if you come to the secondary school level, you have 230,000 that are enrolled. Out of 230,000, it is only 190,000 that actually fall within the age. What are we talking about? For primary enrollment, you're supposed to be between the age of 6 to 11. So we are saying that out of this total number that I enroll, it's likely there are some that are 18 years old, there are some that are 15 years old, who are not supposed to be in the primary school, but they are there. And this is the reality of that on ground. This is what you find everywhere. Again, if you go down with the said, the country population for that year, was what this is the country population and the country population is usually you know brought out according to age group so from 6 to 11 you have 600 from 12 to 15 age group and they are a secondary school they fall into the secondary school age group they are 520,000 and you have the higher 18 to 22 400,000 with a total of 1.5 million now what are we expected to do first like, calculate overall enrollment ratio to calculate the gross level enrollment ratio for primary school and calculate the net level ratio for primary school. So we are going to calculate the overall gross and net. So how does... Now let's take the first one, the overall enrollment ratio. Now what is the overall enrollment ratio here? We are taking all these enrollments overall, irrespective of the level, irrespective of the age. So if you look at primary the primary section, you have 260,000. So you have 260,000 here. 
230,000 for secondary school, you have it here. Then 145,000 for higher institution, you have it here. These are the total number that I enrolled. And the total number is 635,000 that I enrolled. Now, over the actual the, the uh, population that we have, all of them put together, irrespective. So we have 1.5, that is there. So if you multiply it, times it, that will give you 41.78, approximately 41.8%. What does this imply? It shows that only a plan that 78.2% are not in school. And this is a, will be a problem for the nation. If actually this number is not a rule, they are not in school. They will be involved in so many other things. They will be involved in so many other vices. So you see that the government will now work towards how they can plan, the, especially the educational planners, how they can plan and get these people on board. So again, the second one said gross level enrollment ratio for primary school. Now, how would that go? This time around, we are looking at the gross for primary school. We are not going by level. It is no longer general. The first one was general, irrespective of the level. Everything was pulled together. That's why it's overall. But this one is no more general. It is specific. We are looking at primary school. And it is gross in the sense that, remember, this 260,000, like I mentioned earlier, is likely not all of them fall within the age of 6 to 11 that are supposed to be in primary school. But however, we've now been taking that where these are the total number in row, gross, irrespective of the age level. So you bring it down here, that will give you 260,000 that we'll have here over the total number that are that, that the population, the total population we have for that is 600. So over six, that will give you 43.3%. Now, to calculate the last one, net enrollment ratio, you're going to see the difference now. For the net enrollment ratio, for the same level, primary school level, is the same level we are calculating. But it's called the actual number that fall within the primary school age, 6 to 11, is 200. That's why I say actual age enrollment, which means those are the ones that actually fall within the enrollment age for primary school. So therefore, we pick that 200 over the 600. The population for that group is 600, and that will give us 33.3%. So this is how you calculate it. It's called that you have the overall, irrespective of the age, irrespective of the level, everything is put together. When it comes to gross, by level, you pick the level. The same thing could be applicable to secondary school to be higher institution. You pick the level and you work it out. Now, if it is secondary school, what will you do? If you are looking at the gross, it will be 230,000 over 520. And if you are looking at the net, the net will be 190,000 over 520. And you do the same for the higher level. Now, let us look at another example. Here, we are looking at how to determine the age specific ratio. So let us assume let us assume a country has a population of 260,000 for age group 12 to 16. We are saying for only age group 12 to 16, they read how many? 260,000. And out of these 260,000 in this group, 20 are in primary school, 105,000 are in secondary school, and 10,000 are in higher institution. Therefore, calculate the age specific enrollment ratio. We see that. Out of this number, 12 to 16, if you look at a 12 to 16, normally they are supposed to be in secondary school. But however, not all of them that are enrolled, that are enrolled into secondary school. Some of them are in primary school, and some of them are in higher institution already. And this is the reality of what we find in practice. You even discover to, today, you will find some 15 years old uh, children that are finding themselves way into the university which ought not to be anyway now how are we going to determine this right here for the solution you have to now add the all the enrollment irrespective you are not considering all the levels looking at the age that are enrolled in that level irrespective of the level where they are but is the age that we are consigned with so we now go in there look for the primary school, 20,000 of them enrolled. Secondary school, 105,000 of them, 10,000. Over 260, the overall that I enrolled. The overall population, rather. 
So it means these are the totals that will be in school. So if you work it out, that will give you 51.9%. It means 51.9% are the total enrolled for age group 12 to 16. Therefore, if a 12 to 16 is a, a critical age for a growing child, so therefore you need to find out where are the others. You need to look for where the others are because these are others that could be hijacked to do evil in the society. So you need to find out what they are doing. You need to find out where they are. You need to find how you can engage them as a planner in education. You need to plan something for them. Have they dropped out of school? Are they still willing to go back to school? If they are not, what are you going to do education-wise to plan for such a group? So this is how you calculate the, uh, the looking at the A-specific, net enrollment ratio by level, gross enrollment ratio by level, and the overall enrollment ratio by level.